Good morning, dear students. Today we'll do maths of class fifth. I will teach you how to do factors of different numbers. So let's start, dear students. Let's learn to do factors in a playway method. I have six blocks with me. I have arranged these blocks in a row. So how we can represent it into a multiplication form? It can be represented as one into six is equal to six. Kids, I have arranged these blocks in six rows. There are equal number of blocks in each row. So this can be represented as six into one is equal to six. Dear students. By arranging these six blocks in two rows, we get three blocks in each row. So, this can be represented as three into two is equal to six. Dear kids, by arranging these blocks in three rows, we get equal groups of two blocks in each row. So, in a multiplication form, we can represent it as. 3 into 2 is equal to 6. Dear students, I have tried to arrange these blocks in 4 rows but could not do that. We do not get equal number of blocks in each row. So, this cannot be represented in multiplication form. Similarly, by placing all the blocks in 5 rows, we do not get equal number of blocks in each row. So, this can also be not represented in a multiplication form. So dear students, which of the arrangements can be written in multiplication form? 1 into 6, 6 into 1, 2 into 3 and 3 into 2. Kids, we all know that by changing the order of digits, we get same answer. So out of these, we get one form with us. So, dear students, 1, 2, 3 and 6. These are factors of 6. So, factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. Students, let's do another example of factors. The teacher distributes 8 buttons to each student and asks them to arrange the buttons in different ways. She tells the kids that their arrangements should not match with each other. Sukman arranges these eight buttons in one row. So this can be represented as 1 into 8 is equal to 8. Arpan arranges these buttons in two rows with four buttons in each row. So this can be represented as 2 into 4 is equal to 8. Rahat tries to arrange these buttons in three rows, but she could not arrange them equally in all the rows. So, this cannot be represented in a multiplication form. Bahar has arranged these buttons in four rows. There are two buttons in each row. So, this can be represented as 4 into 2 is equal to 8. Now, Sahib tried to arrange these buttons in five rows but he could not arrange them equally in each row. So this cannot be represented in a multiplication form. Sift tried to keep these buttons in six rows but she could not arrange them equally in each row. So again we cannot write this into a multiplication form. Raman has arranged these buttons in seven rows, but he could not place them equally in each row. So, we cannot represent this in a multiplication form. Dear students, Aman has arranged these buttons in eight rows. There is one button in each row. So, in eight rows, there is one button in each row. So, this can be represented as 8 into 1 is equal to 8. So, dear students, which of the arrangements can be written in multiplication form? 1 into 8, 8 into 1, 2 into 4, 4 into 2. We know that by changing the order of digits, 
we get same answer so we take one out of these and one out of these two so dear students one two four and eight these are factors of eight so dear students factors of eight are one two four and eight so kids what you have to do is at your places try to do practice of these factors with the help of buttons or blocks so thank you so much